at North Bondi, a man is reported to be brandishing a switchblade knife. A cloudy day, midweek at Bondi. Lifeguards aren't expecting a busy workload. Oh, I don't like the look of him. And two of the blokes I told yeah. said he's got a blade with him, he's got a switchblade, he's got quite a long knife on him. It's illegal to carry large knives in public. Thank but you somebody's so much. just yeah. told me he's got a knife. That's yeah. not funny. Uh, yeah. All right, I'll okay. give the cops a ring. Thank What's you. Got, huh? I'll go for a walk up there. You won't notice me. Head lifeguard Hoppo makes his way to the scene. Reaching the grassed area, Hoppo IDs the man reported to have a knife. More lifeguards are drawn to the scene as fresh reports come in. What's he look like? He just whipped out a blade. Yes. Oh, like a black tank top. Black tank top. Hi. Hello. Um, there's a man over there with a uh, knife. Whereabouts? Sitting over there. He's acting weird. He's acting very strangely. What do you think's going on? Blood on his back. Sort of yeah. From first look at him on the binoculars, he doesn't seem like he's doing anything. It looks like he's just lying there. But obviously, if we get an, uh, we get something from the public about someone having a knife, it's pretty serious. You don't know what his next action's going to be. I reckon let's just get the North cops down here ASAP. Right Drop it, I'm calling them now. Reedy and Hoppo step in until police arrive. So when I got up to the grassy you knoll, I was kind of looking around and it was quite hard to figure out who it was with the knife. With nothing happening in the water, Harrison heads down as backup. Reedy and I got to north. And, uh, look, we were pretty, you know, concerned about our well-being because you don't know the mental state of this guy up there. You don't know what could happen. Reedy scans the vicinity for local police. It's not a decar here, is it? Nah. Where is he? Yeah, we've got the police on the way as well. I just sprayed our dogs, Steve. OK. Reedy decides to take a closer look and picks up some protection on the way. And I walk past a family with a cricket bat. I've got a cricket bat. Can I borrow it? Yeah. Sarah? Just, just need it, just for something that, just a situation that might. It was an old grey nick and I just thought, it doesn't get much better than this, a cricket bat. Where is he? North of Bondi, thank you. Yep, yep, the cops are on their way now. Within a few minutes, we were up there. Sirens lit up Bondi. In less than three minutes, four vehicle units arrive. Extra units follow up on foot. What is all going on? The suspect isn't waiting around to be questioned by police. Once the uh, suspect saw myself and the cops walking towards him, he was out of there. He just did the Bible. Going out along the road. Lifeguards and police are unsure if the man is still armed with a knife. The best weapon to take to a knife fight probably be a taser or a gun, which the police have. I'm armed with a green whistle and a radio. The man looks for an escape route. Yeah, he's, he's running back towards. He's on the ground now. He's gone into someone's house. So I'm watching this man in front of me like Spider-Man just launching into houses. Where is he? He's on the, in that big um, yellow... He's on the ground. Oh, what? I've got another car. I'll send him up for MK, haven't you? But that's where we'll end up. There's a full-on police chase happening right now. The chase moves onto the streets of North Bondi. We're searching through the units and uh, he seemed to disappear and we're worried he just slipped through the net. 
Hoppo, Reedy and Harrison assist, but the man seems to have slipped through. After a while of searching, we're struggling to find him and no, if I wanted to find him or not, you know, he's got a knife. Then, a sighting of the man at North Bondi Headland. What? The tackling? Yes, as we're running after him. Uh... One of the cops were on the other side and basically just crash tackled him as he as he ran across the park. Is that it? Yeah. Is that your answer? It's my name. Yeah, really? Obviously he must have something going on to uh, to run and, and not just stay around and talk to the police. And then here comes flying past. The chase has captured the attention of Bondi's local kids, teenagers and hipsters. I could have dead set put my arm out and ankle tapped if I hadn't known who he was, but I thought he was another cover. <laughs> Hectic. The man was taken into custody. The charges were dismissed on mental health grounds. The police were very professional and turned up quite quick. We worked in well together, which was really good to see, and the outcome was great. We ended up apprehending the person.